YouTube, it's your boy Dan, aka Drive, and you guys, the Pokemon Omicron Nuzlocke playthrough, a brand new Let's Play here on my channel here on YouTube.com slash Drive. and I hope you guys are super hyped up and super stoked for this Let's Play. If you are a member of the A Drive Army or you are stoked for this Let's Play, one of the two, I need you guys to mash that like button. I think... I know, I know that the A Drive Army can turn up and we can hit 1,500 likes to start off this brand new series. I am super hyped about it. I hope you guys are are as well. This is a brand new playthrough. I have never played this game before. You'll see here in a second that I've only played the six minutes and we're going to start a new game here. Uh, and, and it's going to be super epic, guys. If you don't know what a Nuzlocke is, we're going to be Nuzlocke as well. And it's actually built into this game. But again, I don't know a whole lot about this game. Uh, I've, I've never played it. I haven't watched anyone else play it. I didn't spoil anything, but rumor has it it is pretty challenging. So any of the issues we might have had in our last Nuzlocke, those are going to be eradicated, eliminated, and completely irrelevant because this playthrough is going to be very challenging and it's going to be an absolute blast. So I hope you guys are hyped. And just a reminder, again, if you're new, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so you never miss an episode. And of course, uh, make sure you guys like that video. 1,500 likes would be absolutely amazing. I'll try to get everything in the description as well, guys. So if you want to download the game and play it alongside with me, or you want to jump ahead or do whatever you want, go for it. This is Pokemon Omicron. There's also Pokemon Zeta. So Zeta and Omicron are two fan-made games uh, that uh, are apparently pretty pretty darn awesome. So I'm very excited about it. And uh, let's get jump right into it. We got Professor Oak here. Hello. This is a pre-recorded message. It is only to be open in case of an emergency. My name is Professor Oak. People call me the Pokemon Professor. Please select an option. So I actually don't need any info because I'm a Pokemon master here. Although you might have to you might have to bear with me as I might have to learn some of the controls still, but this world is inhabited by creatures we call Pokemon. People in Pokemon live together by supporting each other. Some people play with Pokemon, some battle with them, but other or some people abuse them for power. That is why you are here today. Uh, looks like there's some trouble here in uh, in the Pokemon Omicron world. I don't actually know what the name of the region is, but I am a boy as far as I can tell, and I am definitely sure of that. Uh, yep, still dude. And uh, we're going to name ourselves A-Drive as we normally would. Uh, it's nice that you just type it in on the keyboard. That's really cool. So you're A-Drive. Yes, indeed I am. And would you like to do a challenge run? Yes, indeed we do. And we are going to do the Nuzlocke challenge. I think I need my mouse for this. So we're going to do Nuzlocke. I'm not going to randomize it. A lot of people are asking me about the randomization process. I'm not going to randomize it. And the reason why is because I've never played this game before. So I kind of want to play it as it was intended to be made uh, as opposed to doing some sort of randomizer. There's a lot of other challenges here. We're not going to do any of those because half of them I don't even know what they do. But I think we're going to roll with just the Nuzlocke challenge and that should be it. So in a Nuzlocke challenge, Fated Pokemon will not be healed at Pokemon Centers. Revives and other ways to revive your Pokemon cannot be used. Uh, the other couple rules to a Nuzlocke challenge is we're only going to catch the first Pokemon we encounter on each route, which might be a little confusing. We'll, we'll do our best to make sure we don't mess that up. And then the other thing is uh, we're going to nickname every single one of our Pokemon, which is a given. Obviously, we're going to do that anyway. So really a non-issue. Uh, and apparently, there's actually a Nuzlocke shop which contains uh, cool items like experience shares and rare Pokeballs and TMs in Fianga City. So uh, am I sure that this is how I want to play? Yes, indeed. And uh, the rival has swag... I guess he's got some swagger. He's he's rocking his Justin Bieber. And uh, yeah, that's okay. He can have some swagger. And Team Olympus has attacked a Nyasa town, leaving few survivors. The remaining citizens are being transferred to Zaravar town through the escape route. Emergency Pokemon are available in the escape route for those who want to help stop Team Olympus. Thank you for watching this pre-recorded message. So uh, it's pretty clear here, guys. We are going to be uh, trying to stop Team Olympus here. And you can see it panning across. And there's actually some lady. And we are ready to rock. We are starting our Pokemon Omicron adventure and I'm so excited and this girl is uh, is gonna tell us I think we're safe here are we though go Lucario Wow uh, Lucario the time has come go find go find Wilson tell him the time for cowardice is over tell him to redeem himself Lucario use extreme speed all right <laughs> so that's fine she's gonna send her to Lucario which is way better than anything we're gonna have a drive, I hoped it would have never come to this. They're out there. They won't stop until they get what they want. A drive, you're growing up. I think you're ready for your first Pokemon. We have Pokemon stored somewhere down here in case of emergencies. You may as well take one. 
All right, so Team Olympus is a problem, ladies and gentlemen. And we're gonna have to pick our starter Pokemon, and that is actually gonna lead us to our question of the day here momentarily. But it looks like, uh, first of all, the girl's name that we were just talking to is Aria. We are A Drive, of course, and uh, Team Olympus has found this cave. Aria, we need you to help fend them off. Oh no! Go with Professor Honey. He'll take you to the lab in Zara of our town. A Drive, I love you. Be safe. All right, so mom is uh, is definitely love. I'm assuming Arya is lo is our mom. I have no idea. But uh, the professor's gonna have to give us a Pokemon to start our journey, uh, and he's a friend of our family, evidently. So, and this is also telling us a little bit of information about our mom, who is a great trainer. Um, so that's kind of cool that you know our mom is actually a really good trainer. She's not a Rhyhorn racer. Our dad doesn't abandon our family at the gym. So it looks like uh, you know mom is is pretty much a champ here. So I don't know if we can go back in here. Uh, I can't go this way. Well, I had to try it. So uh, we're gonna go down, uh, down the cave here, and we're gonna pick our starter Pokemon. It looks like Professor Oak is waiting for us here. A drive this way. Okay, Mr. Oak. Can I, can I talk to this thing? I don't know. You guys gotta bear with me too. Like I said, I don't know the commands and stuff, so it's gonna be a little, little rocky as I try to figure out some of the controls here. But uh, we're gonna be able to come down here, and it looks like we are gonna be able to pick our starter Pokemon, which is of course the moment of truth, uh, and we can have a companion for the rest of our lives. Well, I don't know if Mr. Oak here, guys, knows how a Nuzlocke functions because uh, I don't know if we're gonna have it for the rest of our lives. But we have Bell Sprout, Magby, and Horsey, so that is gonna bring us to our question of the day, and I want to see all you guys answering. Pause the video right now. I want you to pause it right now, and I want you guys to answer the question of the day below in the comment section. Let your voice be heard here. Now, I did do a straw poll on my Twitch stream. If you guys don't know, I'm a Twitch live streamer, which that link is always in the description as well. I did do a poll on my live stream to see what my viewers would like. We got a couple hundred votes on that, and the uh, the uh, consensus was that I should draft or pick Horsey, which of course evolves into the mighty dragon side Kingdra. Uh, the second place was actually Magby, which uh, evolves into the beast fire cannon Pokemon uh, Magmortar. And then of course, the least amount of votes, getting only about 10, 20% of the votes was actually Bellsprout here. Our little, uh, our little uh, weeping bell, victory bell, bell plant Pokemon. So you guys have spoken, and I, I am very curious which starter you guys would choose, and of course, you guys can play along with me, uh, as I said, all the links are in the description, uh, so I'm curious what you guys are choosing or what you would have chosen if you are going to play this game. Either way, I'm going to take the advice that everyone has given me, saying that this game is very hard. I should go with Horsey, because it's awesome, or I should go with Magby, and I'm going to go with Bellsprout. So I'm gonna pick the grass type Pokemon Bellsprout, and the reason for this is Bellsprout is the Pokemon that I feel like the least people, like no one is gonna choose Bellsprout. So I'm gonna be the guy who chooses Bellsprout. I have a feeling this could be a terrible decision, but we're gonna do it, and we're gonna name it Invincible. So, oh, I can't fit Invincible in here? I guess we could just do it with one L. That's kind of a bummer. You would think I could fit a longer name in here, but we're gonna name it Invincible, which I actually got the name from Sam, aka Fufu. Uh, Fufu hooking me up with that nickname idea. I love the nickname idea. So we're gonna get our first Pokemon, which is uh, which is Invincible. So I'm very, very excited to add Invincible to the team, and I'm curious to see what uh, what we're working. So Invincible actually follows us around. Which is pretty cool. How do I talk to you? I just hit this button. Okay, so he's chilling out, Max, and relaxing, all cool. <laughs> we got the fresh Prince of Bel Air in here, um, and let's take a look at him really quick. Let's see. He's level seven, so he's actually already level seven, which is nice. Uh, you see him dancing there. I did get the uh, the sprite pack and stuff. If you guys try to play this game yourself, you'll notice there's a lot of downloadable stuff that you can add to the game. So I did add the the good sprites. We actually have Calm Nature, which is pretty bad, I would say, for this kind of thing. Um, Plus special defense, minus attack, that's a really bad nature, but it does have Vine Whip, Growth, and Pound, so uh, he's mostly an offensive Pokemon, so I think we're good to go. We're gonna, uh, he's still undecided whether traveling with A-Drive is a good thing or not. Well, that's not good. I also want to change my options, and this could be very risky here. We're gonna turn it up to set style. We're gonna see if there's any cool frames that we like. Let's do this red frame to match our, our layout and everything like that. I'm not gonna adjust my screen size, because that's gonna mess things up, but uh, I think we're good to go here. We got our Bell Sprout. We're ready to rock. He's walking behind us. Look at his little legs dancing. I feel like that's so cool. Hmm. What is this? Uh-oh. Good job, Snubble. Snub, Snub! My name's Jeremy. I'm an intern in the professor's lab. The professor asked me to give you these. So we're actually gonna get Pokeballs right off the bat here. Not bad. And I'm gonna let you guys know this is actually the point I left off uh, when I did the trial run. So from this point forward, I know nothing about this game. 
Uh, if you see a wild Pokemon, such as it's in the tall grass or a cave, then you can throw a Pokeball to catch it. You'll have to weaken it first, though. A Pokemon is easy to just catch when it's low on HP and has a status effect like being asleep or frozen. You can't catch someone else's Pokemon, though. That's theft. There are many different kinds of Pokeballs. So, uh, there are many different kinds of Pokeball. Some of them will catch more easily. Hey, since I'm telling you so much already, how about I show you how to be a trainer? Let's have a battle. So he basically teaches us how to how to catch Pokemon, which we already know, and he's also gonna battle us uh, for the first time here, our first battle. And he's got his Snubble, which is level five. So we're gonna set out Invincible here. We're gonna lose a little bit of attack because of the Intimidate, which is gonna put us in a really bad spot to start. Uh, I think I could just go for a growth here. We'll go with the growth. We are faster, which is nice. Uh, I'm a little bit worried though because uh, uh, this is scary, man. This is scary. We're already really frail. Snubble has a pretty high attack stat, if I'm not mistaken. We'll go for that Vine Whip though because it should do a little bit more than Pound. I did a good amount. He's gonna go for the Growl though. Um, I am a little bit worried because I've had I have heard that this Snubble is actually kind of tough to take down, but uh, he's just gonna keep going for Growl. So he might not even have an attacking move. That could be really nice if he doesn't. Um, but this is not good for physical attacker. He's gonna go for the tail whip. So we really need a critical hit here, guys. I would say that would be in our best interest. That's not gonna do it. He's gonna just keep growling. So I'd rather him growl than tail whip, though. That's for sure. So let's just keep ta vine whipping here. We got one more. We're, it looks like we're good. I don't know if he doesn't have an attacking move or something. I have no idea. He might not even have an attacking move, but that's gonna knock out the snubble. So we'll take that. Good start for Invincible there. We're gonna gain 71 XP. Is that gonna level us up? No, it doesn't level us up. It's not enough. Uh, so Hiker Jeremy goes down. We're gonna get a little bit of cash money here. Wow, you're pretty good. Anyways, come visit Snubble and me in the professor's lab, okay? Let's go, Snubble! Snub, Snub! Alright, so Invincible already put in that work, and we didn't even have to lose any HP or anything, so that was pretty good. Now, where do we go? Because there's there's all this area over here to walk around. I'm gonna just see what's going on. Is that a Mudkip? Is my Mudkip cute? My mommy gave him to me. Oh, it's a shiny Mudkip! Oh my god, it looks shiny too. I was so confused. That's sick! I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Shiny Mudkip. This guy looks like he's gonna give us a sword in The Legend of Zelda. Those Team Olympus goons are up to no good again, aren't they? Here, this will help. Ah, nice little potion. Thank you. Beginning of the game potion hype is real. I gotta tell you guys, I am so excited about this playthrough. And I'm excited for a number of reasons, but probably the biggest reason I'm excited is one, it's a new adventure. We get to experience it together. Uh, I guess that's two reasons. But uh, but two, I guess I'm gonna emphasize the fact that it is a brand new adventure uh, for me, and I've never played this game before. So uh, we actually have the running shoes now, so we can hold the Z button. And it looks like they work too, which is awesome. So that'll help us speed things along here so we don't have to walk like a snail. I'm gonna see if there's an item in this corner because sometimes Pokemon does that. I, I doubt it. Okay, let's just look over here really quick. I'm gonna be very, very completionist about this game too. I'm gonna be like checking every route. So here we are in Zarvar Town. We don't really have an option. We have to hop down here. Um, I do want to kind of peep the, the house and stuff. So let's take a look and see what's going on inside the houses. Is this like a school or something? So there's a child prodigy who's working at the school. Other kids don't like him evidently. Sorry to hear that, buddy. Um, oh my god, he doesn't like me? What? Is that like my rival? What are your thoughts on the swag? Uh, I don't like it. Okay, well, oh, oh, we can turn on his swagger. I guess we'll keep the swagtastic. All right, we'll keep we'll keep him swagtastic. Um, so she's telling us about her students. So they're gonna be fa fantastic Pokemon trainers. Whatever. If you don't want to give me items, guys, then I'm gonna bounce out of your house there. So that's fine. Uh, you're new around here, aren't you? Trying to hide from Team Olympus invasion. I can't blame you. I guess I am trying to hide from the Team Olympus invasion. I mean, I didn't want to admit it, but so it looks like we can actually go up this way, but I think we're supposed to go to the lab first, and this looks like the Pokemon lab, guys. Ah, excellent, I have your hair. Let's get down to business. I'm not entirely sure you're where your mom is, but I'm planning to meet up with her later. She's out recruiting allies to help fight against Team Olympus. If, uh, I'll see if I can get you in contact with her. In the meantime, I need a favor. One of the students in the school just south of my lab is starting an internship with me. Can you fetch him for me? Uh, I would appreciate it. So we're gonna head south of... The school here, which I believe is gonna be down here. This looks like south. I need to go to the Poga School. Oh, so I guess we have to go to the Poga School. I thought he said to go south of the route, but that's okay. Um, hey you, we own this school. Get out of here right now. We're all, huh? The professor wants to see me? <laughs> Jake, are you stuttering? Of course not, leave me alone. I can't believe it, the professor actually wants me to help him? He was the guy who trained Arya, the legendary champion. Ah, so now we find out that our mother, well I assume it's our mother, I think he said it was her mother, is actually the champion. Oh, what would I have given to uh, meet Arya or even her kid A-Drive? Really? You're A-Drive? Your mom is my hero. Or that is to say your mom has swag. Yeah, I'm gonna be your rival from now on, okay? Let's go on then. I'm gonna be the swaggiest trainer of all time. Go, I'll meet you over there. 
<laughs> this is so ridiculous. Uh, so now we find out that our mom is actually a legendary Pokemon trainer champion, actually. She was the champion, so uh, we have good genes. I guess we have lots of potential with our little Bell Sprout here. I want to know what, what Pokemon our mom has, though. So then I said, who needs Pokemon when you have swag? And let me tell you that, oh, hey, Drive, the professor told me your name and about how you got a Pokemon already. He said that he'll give me one, too. I can't believe it, my own Pokemon. I mean, uh, yeah, my swag Pokemon, yeah. Anyway, let's go. Can I have my Pokemon? Yes, yes, you can. Go pick the one that suits you best. I'm starting to regret this. He's rather rude, don't you think? Oh, wait, he said that. Never mind. Hmm, I picked this one. I like this one, a Magby. You and I, a drive will battle soon enough, trust me. I'm out of here, losers. All right, so we do have to be very, very careful here, guys, because apparently he's gonna battle us very, very soon, and uh, he's got a Magby, so we're already at a bit of a disadvantage here. Well, maybe the real world will drill some manners into him. Here, I've got something else for you. Hey, a high-tech encyclopedia. Uh, the more Pokemon you find, the more data it will have. Of course, we know this. Uh, try to fill your goal and fill the entire Pokedex. Uh, we're gonna pick up the Pokedex here right now, which is pretty awesome. And then Jeremy gave you some Pokeballs, right? Yes. Uh, so they can go, we can buy them at the Pokemart, I guess. All right, so we have to stop Team Olympus. So he wants us to set, head south to Superior Town. Um, and there's some Olympus activity there. So we do need to go south, it looks like. Let's go talk to Jeremy since he's kind of hanging out over here. So Jeremy actually doesn't do anything for us there, which is kind of a bummer, but that's okay. Um, so I think we're, I, I know we were told to go south. I'm gonna go north. Uh, looks like we can't go anywhere. Route 305, that's a lot of routes, guys. Uh, I do wanna just go, like, check out the Pokemon really quick, just to see what's going on in here. Uh, maybe there's some cool stuff. So he's looking for rare and exotic ingredients. Maybe we could find, like, some cool Pokeballs or something. So he's, he's telling us about repels. I gotta say, man, it is amazing how people make these fan games. This is the first one I'm really playing, but uh, it is amazing how people make these fan games. I'm gonna grab a few potions. Uh, just to be safe, we'll grab four. I don't know if that's going to make a huge difference for us, but I figure we might as well have them, right? So, is there anything else I can help you with? No, I think we're good. And let's let's go. We're going to go south, and we're going to head to the next town, which, of course, I don't remember the name. But it uh, looks like we can actually capture the first Pokemon we encounter in the grass here before we take on this trainer. So, I'm going to run into this grass. First encounter of the Nuzlocke is going to be a... Very, very anticlimactic, a Pidgey, but I do have to be very cautious here because this thing could have uh, could have a move that could super effective hit us. So he's gonna go for tackle, that's fine. Uh, that's a lot though, we're gonna go for the pound. Looks like we can hit him with two pounds here and catch him. He's got another tackle, should be able to eat that up, cool. So we're gonna catch this female Pidgey here, and I'm gonna have to get, go to the bag, and I think we could just grab a Pokeball here. I would say this is pretty safe to throw a Pokeball. Let's see if we can catch this Pidgey to join our squad here. That'd be absolutely marvelous. Shaking three times. Oh, he broke out! What? He's gonna go for a tackle again. Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I thought we almost just lost. We almost just lost the Nuzlocke right there. Alright, so he's gonna go for Sand Attack. That's fine. I think we have to hit him with another pound, I guess. I was all ready to throw Pokeballs at him, but I guess we'll go for another pound here. Hopefully, we don't miss. He actually is faster than us, too, which is pretty impressive. Uh, we're gonna go for the pound. Hopefully don't miss. Good, we hit it. And no critsies, which is awesome. Now we're gonna catch this thing. I have more faith in ourselves here. They're gonna be able to catch the Pidgey now. Cause it's in red. I can't believe we just got crit by a Pidgey and almost lost. I gotta think of a cool nickname for a female Pidgey here. I'm thinking, I'm leaning towards Skyla, the gym leader from uh, from Black and White, I believe. I was always a fan of Skyla, so it has incredibly sharp sense of direction. It can unerringly return home from its nest, however far it may be removed from its familiar surroundings. So I'm actually really excited. We're gonna name this little girl Skyla here after the flying type female gym leader, uh, you know, Skyla, Skyla's pretty sweet, so let's actually go back and heal our Pokemon really quick, and then we're gonna take on this trainer and see what we're working with here, and we'll also check out our Pidgey as well. Uh, our Skyla now, who has joined our squad, we got Invincible and Skyla now, two awesome Pokemon, well, maybe not awesome Pokemon, but they're cool nevertheless, I'm cool, I'm happy with them, so let's take a look at our, uh, let's take a look at our Pidgey here, our Skyla. Let's see, maybe it's a good nature. Uh, it is a modest nature, so I don't know if uh, if Mega, mega if it was adamant nature, we would have been dead. Uh, I don't know if Mega Pidgeot is in this game, but I know there are a lot of Megas that were in introduced into this game, so I guess it is a possibility. Uh, let's take on this dude right here. If you look at another trainer in the eyes, you have to battle! So here's our first Pokemon battle against a trainer. What do you got for me, Camper Aiden? He's got a Wurmple. Ooh, you guys know I like them Bug-type Pokemon. We're gonna send out Invincible here, and I guess we'll just pound it to oblivion. 
He's gonna go for Poison Sting. Luckily for us, we actually can't be poisoned because we are a poison type ourselves, so I'll take that any day of the week. Uh, Strange Shot. All right, I see you. I think we'll probably still at speed, though. Yeah, we do. Wormpool's relatively slow, and I guess Bellsprout's not that, not that slow either. I guess it's relatively fast. We're gonna hit it with another pound. That should knock out the Wormpool. No problem. So we're gonna be able to take out our first trainer. We're gonna get enough experience all the way up to level 8. I do want to just kind of see what else. Oh, he's got another Pokemon. Just kidding. What is it? Metapod or something? He's got a Pidgey. Now, I hope at level 6, Pidgey doesn't learn anything crazy. He's got Sane Attack. That's fine. I might switch into our own Pidgey here, though, in a minute. Uh, after a, a hit or two. We'll see. That did a lot. Wow. This might be a minus defense nature Pidgey. Um... That looks pretty good. I do want to switch up some experience here. Uh, keep in mind that this is a Nuzlocke, and uh, it is a, apparently a pretty challenging one. So we're going to switch into Skyla here, uh, which is going to take the Sand Attack. That's fine. Uh, luckily, actually, we have Keen Eye, so it's not going to take the Sand Attack. Hey, I like it. Just keep going for Sand Attack, please. Or faster, which is nice. And almost knock it out. Looking pretty good here. Oh, my God. That did so much. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. That was a speed tie, and I didn't even realize it. That could have been really bad. That could have been really bad. We're actually going to grow all the way to level 6, though, which is nice. Uh, get a little bit of special attack and HP. And we're going to take out Camper Aiden. So I do kind of want to scour the grass here and see what we have working on here. I don't want to take any other trainers, but we'll see what else is here. Whoa, that battle animation was sick. And it's a Starly, which is, uh, you know, exponentially cooler than a Pidgey. But it's okay. We're going to run, though. I don't want to take any chances here. Let's see what else is in this grass. Let's see what else we're working with here. There's some more trainers, so I do want to heal up before we go take on the trainers. And I am going to be pretty methodical. Another Starly there. It looks so cute. Oh my god, it's level 7 though. Please allow us to run. Oh my god, please let us run. Please let us run. Oh my god, I gotta go heal. We're gonna go heal up. This is, this is not, this is not fun. We're gonna have to go heal up really quick before we go take on these other trainers I do want to take on that bug catcher if we're gonna heal really quick I promise I'm not gonna run to the Pokemon Center all the time But we are gonna be stocking up on potions and stuff like that because this is a, a more challenging game than our previous Nuzlocke Which was of course uh, our Alpha Sapphire playthrough if you missed the mono bug Alpha Sapphire playthrough It's an absolute blast you can check that out as well on my channel Let's take on this bug catcher here. So bug type Pokemon are the best so we'll see I'm loving the animations in this game already though. It's beautiful so so there's two guys. He's got a worm pull again. So level six though. So these guys are flexing their Pokemon here. Uh, let's just go for the pound here. We're just gonna pound away. Yeah, I said that. Yeah, we went there. We went there. Pound away, baby. And there's the Kritzkis. So crits look like they do two times damage in this game, whereas in uh, in uh, sixth gen they only do 1.5 times. So definitely not a great situation for us. And in comes the Caterpie. Okay. I think I'm going to eventually go into our Skyla here, but we'll hit him a few times first, just to make it easier for Skyla. And we'll, we'll switch in and try to spread some of the experience around. I do want to try to keep him as close to level together as possible, I suppose. Uh, and it could it could come very useful, especially like that level 7 Starly in the wild. That is not, not fun. That is not fun. And I think we're going to also need Skyla, you know, to take on the... Our rival, because our rival, I think his name was Jeff or something like that. He's rocking with a Magby right now, so we're gonna have to make sure we're ready for that. I'm not trying to just blindly take on a Magby and get the body. Do you know what I mean? So we're gonna grow some levels there. I think I actually want to switch our Pokemon around. Let's get Skyla some action here. Um, we're gonna switch them around. I even get like updated this like little screen here. I like updated everything in this game to like get it sixth gen ish. It's kind of cool. All right, what do you got for me? I can't find my way home. So you're gonna battle me? You can't find your way home, so you're like, oh, let me just battle this dude. He's got a Weedle, though. That just screams us getting poisoned, but... I don't know what mechanics are in this game for poison, so I actually am going to switch to Invincible. Because I, it, it just seems dumb to me to have to run to the Pokemon Center because I get poisoned, so... We'll switch. He's going to Strength Shot anyway. That's fine. I can't believe... Where's my cursor here? I want Pound. He's gonna string shot again. That's fine. We're gonna go for the pound though. That should do a good amount. I don't. That's almost like a two hit knockout right there. This Weedle is not gonna like these pounds. We're just gonna pound all day long, baby. That's we get we get max damage on that one. That was good. Sky all the way up to level seven. Not bad. And I wanted to learn a flying type move. That's what I'm hoping for. There's all these grass type or like bug type Pokemon. In comes another Wormpool. I think I'm just gonna keep keep on pounding the way, ladies and gentlemen. Keep on pounding. This is pretty cool. Yeah, and like I said, guys, uh, the link to download this is in the description if you want to go check it out. I'll probably link the subreddit 
and it gives pretty clear instructions on how to get the six gen sprites and all that stuff. It's really not that hard, guys. It took me about maybe half hour to set up the game and test it to make sure everything was going to work right. Uh, I will also say that there is a slight chance that we run into some minor technical issues as this game progresses. I don't anticipate that being, you know, a huge issue, but I have heard of little glitches that happen from time to time, so we do have to be cautious. It is a fan-made game, so you, you can't expect it to be, you know, entirely polished up. But uh, so far, it looks it looks absolutely wonderful, and adding these sprites in looks pretty sick, in my opinion. I've even like gotten uh, like the shadow moving sprites and stuff, so it should be pretty cool. And we want to learn Sunspore, which is huge. Uh, not only is Sunspore like a really good move to help us catch other Pokemon, but uh, it's just really good in general. So um, looks like there's a forest here, so that's where we're heading next, I guess. I, I guess the route doesn't continue here. We're gonna just head right into the forest. Well, it looks like a forest. Nara Gex Forex. So. Um, we're gonna get a new encounter here as well. So the first Pokemon we encounter in the forest we can actually catch. So we might as well do that now and hope all goes well. Uh, that's the plan. So the first encounter right here is gonna be a new capture for our team and it looks like it is a Petalil, which is really cool actually. Uh, I did not expect to find a Petalil. If you guys don't know, Petalil actually evolves into, um, what is the name of that Pokemon? It's gonna bother me now. What the heck is the name of that thing? Lilligant, it evolves into Lilligant. I think it evolves with a stone though. I'm not entirely positive on that. I'm pretty sure it evolves with like a sunstone. And we crit it, almost knock it out, but we're gonna catch this Petalo. We have all these female Pokemon. So we're gonna have to catch this thing. Uh, and I gotta think of a cool nickname for this little guy here. I, I'm gonna throw a Pokeball at it, and we're gonna catch this little pet a little. Hopefully, hopefully, you keep our fingers crossed. Uh, really cool Pokemon. Not much diversity on our team right now. Two or two Grass Pokemon, and a he's gonna break out. Why? Why did you break out? He's gonna go for Growth. So he's got Growth and Absorb. Um, it's gonna boost his special attack as well. Uh, let's hope that we can catch this thing. Cause we're running out of Pokeballs here. Um, let's hope that this one actually catches it, cause I would like to catch this pet a little. That'd be kind of cool. Stay in the Pokeball, pet a little. You, why don't you want to stay in the Pokeball? I only have one more Pokeball, dude. You gotta stay in, Petalil. This is your last chance. If you don't stay in this Pokeball, Petalil, then you do not get to join our team. I hope you realize your, your, the decision you're making right now, Petalil. You could go on this beautiful journey with us and be on my YouTube channel, and you're just gonna keep breaking out of the Pokeball. There we go! Now we caught the Petalil. That was awesome. So, I like it, I like it, I like it a lot. So, I'm gonna go out on a limb here, and this might be kind of weird, but I'm gonna actually name this Petalil. It's a female Petalil. I'm gonna name it after my fiance, Danny. And the reason for that is because it evolves into Lilligant. And Lilligant's kind of like a dancer. And if you guys don't know, my, my fiance actually uh, was a dancer she, and, and a very good one at that. She actually went to one of the top dancing schools in the country uh, and was originally going to do um, like ballet and things like that, but decided she wanted to go into psychology and she ends up, now she works in research. Um, so she decided that she didn't want to do dance anymore, but she was. I didn't know her then, but from my understanding, she was like really, really good at dancing, which is which is really cool. I wish I knew her then, but uh, I guess I'm guess I'm happy that I know her now because we're engaged. So this is actually a timid nature, which is amazing. That is like the best nature it could have. Uh, it's got chlorophyll, which is fine. So if we get some some sun turns going here, we might actually be able to make some collaboration here work between our two chlorophyll Pokemon. We're starting a sun team, ladies and gentlemen, and that looks good to me. So what I'm gonna do now, guys, I'm gonna run back to the Pokemon Center, and I'm gonna go heal up and just make sure everything is uh, is working fine, looking good, and we're gonna wrap things up here on our first ever episode of Pokemon Omicron. I gotta pick up some more Pokeballs and things like that as well, uh, just so we can have better opportunities to catch new Pokemon and stuff. But uh, that's pretty much gonna be it for me, guys. We're gonna pick up here in, in uh, on the next episode. Uh, also, I do wanna emphasize, this is actually intended to be a daily series so the plan is to upload this series every single day so make sure you guys are keeping an eye out on your sub boxes we're gonna be aiming for 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time uploads every single day and this is a daily series so I hope you guys are super duper stoked for this new player through a Pokemon Omicron Nuzlocke uh, and if you guys are I want to see that like button go way over that 1500 mark I know you guys can do it I know you guys are hyped and I know this is gonna be an awesome series so I want to thank you guys for taking your time to watch this first episode i hope you guys did enjoy my name is dan i also go by a drop i'm gonna get the heck out of here but i will see you on the next episode peace